in the last lesson we have learned about new user creation and granting database access to the user when you work in real time as a DBA there are a lot of permissions you need to give to users these permissions can be like insert update select delete and many more let us take an example we have sales clerk who join and leave organization frequently and we have to provide them with three permissions on three tables like insert on department table update on employee table and delete on bonus table understand how hard it is to manually grant and revoke these permissions every time sales clerks join and leave to reduce this manual effort Oracle has roles one simple example let's take tomorrow there are 10 sales clerk who join the organization then we need to give or type these commands 30 times right now it is time consuming and there are a lot of manual efforts involved in order to give these permissions what we can do is in Oracle we can create a role called a sales clerk and we give all these permissions to this role that is we grant all these permissions like insert update delete to the role and not to a physical user who would connect to the database later what we can do is we can grant this role to a user ultimately whatever permissions we have given to this role it will be granted to the user directly this way we reduce a lot of manual efforts and whenever there is a new sales clerk who joins the organization we can just grant the sales clerk role to the user let us start by creating a role inside our database we'll create this role sales clerk let us connect to the database sql plus slash dba now we'll create this role create role it's a simple command and give the role name you can give any role name for example junior dba senior dba or probably backup admin depends mostly these roles are created or requested from the application end not from the database end because we always have the sysdba user where we can connect and perform all the activities next we'll grant insert on scott.department table to sales clerk let us run this command grant successful next we'll grant update on scott.emp to sales clerk grant successful now grant delete on Scott dot bonus to sales clerk perfect we have granted all the insert update delete permissions on various tables to the role sales clerk now what we can do is we can assign this role to any user inside database and ultimately that user will also get these permissions like insert update delete on the respective tables how do we grant roles to a user what we'll do is we'll create a user create user John identified by John done now we have to first grant grant connect resource to John because if we don't grant these two permissions then John won't be able to connect to the database next we will assign this role sales clerk to John assigning a role is same as granting the permissions like grant sales clerk to John done let us go ahead and connect to the database as John John connected we see that the user can perform update insert and delete but eventually you won't be able to select data from those table because select permission is not given let us try this one select star from Scott dot department what it says insufficient privileges but any which ways we can insert data into the department table but we cannot select data from the department table let us go ahead and grant select on EMP to sales clerk and then ultimately we will check whether John is able to select data from employee table or department table or not we'll connect as DBA grant select on 
scott.emp to we are granting to sales clerk remember we are not granting it to the user and we know that sales clerk is ultimately granted to john which means now if i connect as john i must be able to select from the select star from scott.emp can you see how permissions are cascading in real time let's take you have 10 new sales clerk where you want to modify one permission then remember you have to execute or give the permission to all the 10 people rather than that what you can do is you can grant the privilege to the role and ultimately any user who's having this role assigned will get those permissions this way it reduces your manual efforts in real time as I said earlier in real time you won't create any roles for your database team or database admins naturally you will get lot of roles request from the application team whenever there is a new database build all the users that are to be created all the table spaces that are to be created all the tables that are to be created and all the roles permissions and everything all these details are given by the application team to the database team your job is to just create them inside the database mostly this task is done by the database development team we are admins but eventually we should also know about how things work inside the database all in all whenever you want to provide multiple privileges to multiple users inside the database it is very time consuming what you can do is you create a role grant all permissions to the role and then you grant that role to users here is a note never grant sysdba role to any other user until specified by database architect this is very important sometimes application team might tell you that hey you know what why don't you grant sysdba role to one of the users and we'll take care don't ever do that without the consent of database architect you should not grant the sysdba role to any user inside the database sysdba is the most powerful role which can do anything 